when a country, no, let's change that. What happens to a country when a leader's words are worthless, when their promises are toothless or utterly useless? Is that where we are now with President Trump? From the collapse of the Republican plan to repeal and replace Obamacare, something that Trump said he would do on day one, to the explosive FBI announcement that there is an ongoing investigation into possible links between Russia and the Trump campaign, the common thread here is a White House with a credibility problem that's getting worse and worse and worse. You know, the Washington Post has been counting all of Trump's misleading or false claims since January 20th, and you see here the number is 317 so far. The Wall Street Journal also weighed in this week, saying Trump's falsehoods are eroding public trust at home and abroad, and saying he's at risk of being viewed as a fake president. Of course, Trump's words do have power, the power to inspire and influence, also power to intimidate and incite fear. But journalists and lawmakers and most importantly voters just can't take him at his word. So what happens when the president's words lose all meaning? Joining me now, 